Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am planning out the week of March 29th through April 4th using this Glam Planner Honor Kit. It is Mulan inspired. I am pulling in this red underlay tape from Rose Color Days. Some other foiled tapes from Sticky Essentials as well as Crest Press. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. I'm going to start off like always with my bottom washi. This is an older format kit. I believe it has been reformatted and updated it since I have purchased it. So if you go onto Glam Planner's website and find this kit, it shouldn't look like this anymore. Um, the bottom washi should be different format and she should have just a much better format than this kit was. Um, I made it work. It was quite the struggle, especially with all the little things being the same color, which was this yellow, which wasn't my favorite color. So it was really hard um, for me to use this kit this week. I actually struggled quite a bit. So here I'm just going and doing this double box hack that I came up with for the sidebar. It's one way that I incorporate the giant double boxes that um, Elle from Glam Planner likes to do. I love them and I think they're gorgeous, but as we know, they take up a huge amount of space. So at the end of January, I came up with this idea and I have been loving it ever since. So you guys want to see it in more of a slowed down time, it's in the Anya plan with me on my channel if you want to see it in more detail, but I'm pretty sure you guys can get the gist from this. Um, this week is a week that has lots of extenders, lots of foldables. I feel like my recent weeks, they haven't been that crazy, but we're, we're, we're going to get into a lot of weeks that are going to have just lots of bulk added to them to the point that I did go ahead and purchase a second Aura Estelle planner so that when this one gets bulky, I can transfer half of the year over. And then at the end of the year, I plan on keeping all my inserts from this year in this planner, but I just don't want them to get warped and the planner to get too thick and hard to open in the meantime. Um, It's excessive. I know I have a problem. I liked, I like using all the full boxes. I like showing the art. I know a lot of the artists for these kits put a lot of time and effort into these art collections, whether it be just one for their shop or a custom, um, like this was for Glam Planner shop. And I just love art. So I want to include it all as well as all of my plans. So I like all the extenders foldables it's just so much fun I really really liked using underlays again this week um, from underlay tape rolls most of March I had wiggles and stuff from like printed underlay sheets and while those are nice and they all have advantages and disadvantages I missed the tapes so much um, so it was really fun to get back into those. And this is a red underlay tape from Ro Rose Color Days. It was part of her, I think it was her Christmas collection. I don't remember. I bought it on sale from her shop. Besides like the five core foils of gold, silver, rose gold, hollow, and sparkly hollow, um, I think red is my favorite and most used fun foil, which is weird because I don't generally love the color red in my life um but for some reason I just find that it works with so many kits and I just love red foil so I was really excited to get to pull it in with this kit um so fun and I mixed it with gold foil as well just because I don't have that much red foil so you know a little mixed metal moment. This week was a pretty busy week. I have been working really hard at getting ahead on homework so that the end of the semester isn't insanely stressful. So for some reason I'm stressing myself out now with it. But it's been nice to get ahead. Um, it's just been hard because I 
have no idea what I want to do come graduation and we're getting to the point where it's like a month away and I'm starting to panic and have a ton of anxiety about it but yeah so an update on Umbridge if you've been following um we got our grades back and our rubrics for case study part one and she regraded part two but we could only get partial credit back for it and for correcting all of her errors and mistakes that she said were in mine i only got one percent back so it wasn't even worth my time and then she didn't end up giving me credit for attaching this assessment on the back and i told her i did and she said, oh, sorry, thanks, you're right. And she went to correct my grade, but she corrected it in the rubric, but I didn't get any more points added onto it. So that's really annoying. And then for case study part one, I got docked 12% for not having written the concluding paragraph for the entire case study. We have not been assigned part three yet. So, that's just an update on that situation. In case you're wondering, it's going great. I am not counting down the days until I do not have to see this horrid woman anymore. <sighs> um, other than that, school's going all right. It's, it's the cult, you know, but that's the one class that just really, I... I think if I were to go to hell, that class would be my hell. That's how bad that class is for me. So here I'm just putting down the date dots. Those were from a leftover Chasing Chell's foil bundle that I had purchased. That whiteout is from Tombow. I have it linked down below in my description box along with a lot of the other tools and supplies that I use. So if I don't say it, make sure you check my description box. I'm just putting that box that I um, prepped with the scene on the inside at the top of the sidebar and then I'm putting in my two habit trackers the first one is going to be for water and the second one's going to be my calorie goal the same as it is pretty much every week I kind of don't change those up I probably should because I'm not really motivated to like keep track like I don't care I don't know it's not that I don't care I do try to hit those goals but they having them in the sidebar used to motivate me and it's kind of like lost that but anyways now I'm doing another box on the sidebar and making an extender and I'm sorry if you hear that my dog and my cat are currently playing and they play kind of rough so you might hear some meows some banging I think my cat's actually trying to get into the DVD cupboard and my dog's trying to play with her um but I'm going to just let them do their thing and work it out themselves I had such a hard time getting this box straight on the sidebar something was like so off there it took me a while to figure it out and I ended up having to pull in some undo here I'm just pulling in a overlay washi tape strip from Caress Press in gold on the top I really like putting a strip on the top I think it helps fill up the space nicely and kind of balance out the amount of foil because sometimes I feel like a lot of spreads can be really bottom foil heavy. I put my flag up at the top which I did put a red overlay or underlay from rose color days on and cut around the flag so it has some foil there. These bows are from Caress Press. So now I'm going to move into the full box overlays. All of my full box overlays this week are from Sticky Essentials. They are all different types of Sticky Essentials tapes. Some of them, like the ones I am laying down right here, are meant for double boxes. 
so I absolutely love them. Make sure you stay tuned to the end because I will give you a really good close-up of that one on the sidebar that's under Mulan. Um, I really love having the option of having boxes that are specifically meant for double boxes because you can always cut an underlay tape to try to make them work, but it always looks a little bit off. If if you see it in person, it doesn't translate as much on camera, so I really love that Delilah offers the double boxes, and then I like to use some of the frames and mix it around with the frames and, like, the confetti boxes. I feel like putting overlay boxes also is one of those things that really starts to pull the spread together. On this big double box I cut up one of the uh, uh, overlay boxes into four different pieces to put on the corners so that each little corner got a little bit of shine um, because this wasn't one of the kits that Elle designed specialty foil to go with. I just put down the month of April and that is from Rose Color Days and here I'm putting down some gold overlay tape headers and those are from sticky essentials um i don't mean to be flipping you off but for some reason i just love using my middle finger to help me lay down stickers i have tried so hard to break this habit but i just i can't do it i don't i don't know why it's just such a struggle for me um so i do apologize that that is just gonna keep happening throughout this video but it is so crazy that we're in April now. It is so crazy that Disneyland has been closed over a year because of the pandemic and that it's finally gonna open this month. Like, I cannot believe it. I just feel like I've been living in this like alternate reality since the pandemic. Everything's, it's just been so bizarre and seems so not real. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, do you guys know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. So here I'm putting in my water um, script from Bookish Plannings and the calorie goal one is from Inspired Ever After. And I'm just showing you what I have left over in the base. And I did remember in this video to show you what I have left over at the end um, with the entire kit when I get done with the week. So you guys can see how much use I get out of a sticker kit. I know I kind of always forget to show it at the end, um, but I remember this week, so I'm really kind of proud of myself. Here's where I decided to put the weekend banner in, and this little gap space where the double box is. I kind of like it hidden up there. Um, I don't know. But here, let's get into the day by day. So this week, to mark homework or doing anything school related, I'm going to use study scripts from Sticky Essentials and a little Mulan character munchkin from Once More With Love that's from the Mulan sheet. I use many different characters. I don't think I actually use Mulan though. I think I used all the side characters, which is kind of fun. You guys are also going to see me pick up and put down and move around and swap out stickers like crazy in this plan with me. And I'm sorry, I'm just going to warn you in advance that the day by day was, it was, it was a struggle this week. Um, so to mark tanning, I'm using a pumpkin paper co girl laying on a beach chair with a book covering her face and a Planna Hanna tanning script. Um, I've been reading a Court of Silver Flame, and some other books for school I, I've been laying out, so I really like that those pump, Pumpkin Paper Co. girls have books. The next thing I marked was getting Taco Bell. Scott was here, so Scott laid out with me that day, and then we went and got Taco Bell. See, it's all coming back to me now. Um, the taco is from sugar box stickers and the taco bell script is from kinsey's creations moving into class i marked it the same way every day this week using an online class script from letters to apollo and a glam planner character that's off of her mulan sheet that went along with this kit 
in the bottom half of Monday using a Glam Planner Teeny Astronaut. I marked that it was NASCAR Bristol and that they were in the dirt for the first time in 50 years. And on top of that, I got to mark using a Glam Planner Teeny holding like a first place sign that my favorite driver won the race. Scott is my good luck charm now, I'm convinced, and it was like the best thing ever. And I still cannot believe he won the race in the dirt on Bristol. Oh my God, so good. Below that, using a flag and a stick with the plan, Co. C-3PO, I marked that we watched some Clone Wars that night. Moving into Tuesday, using a Fox and Cactus burrito doodle and a Kinsey's Creation script, custom script, I marked getting burritos. Well, I had a burrito, but we got Mexican food, basically. I just chose to mark it this way. And then below that, using a Once More With Love couple sleeping together sticker, I marked that Scott and I took a nap. Then using a <laughs> Once More With Love, why can I not think of his name right now? Oh my god, I could just die. Anyways, you all know who that is, the painter guy, who I am completely spacing on his name. Anyways, moving on, I marked that Scott and I th did this, like, TikTok challenge where we drew on each other's backs. Then using a Fox and Cactus Hard Eyes Girl, I marked watching the third episode of Demi Lovato, Dancing with the Devil. So good. Below that, I did more homework. Then I had class. Then to wrap up the evening, I FaceTimed with Scott, so I marked that using a Olive & Co. Girl, which... Excuse me, it's Olive Studio now. She just changed her name. Oh, I'm such a creature of habit. I'm so sorry, Britt. I use an Olive Studio Olive. Um, you guys can use my code ROSIE10 to save 10% at Olive Studio and get my freebie. And the FaceTime script is from Kinsey's Creations. The first thing I'm marking on Wednesday with this happy paper and milk Maru is that I had a win over Umbridge this day. In Tuesday's class, she told she told us that something was due on April 6th, and I told her that the syllabus said it was April 12th or 13th, and she told me I was wrong, and then I woke up that morning to an email saying I was right, so I had to mark that victory because it never happens. Below that, using a once more with love munchkins and a therapy sticker from Planna Hannah. I marked having therapy. The arrow is from Planner Pixie Co. Then I did more homework and then I tanned again. That is tanning is marked the same way all week with a pumpkin paper co girl and a Planna Hannah script. Below that I planned and that is with another Olive Studio sticker and then I had class. Here you're going to see me swap out the Taco Bell script <laughs> and label. I had a yellow behind there and I just felt like it needed more variation and I just couldn't leave it alone. So then <laughs> I had to swap out this as well for a different color under the planning sticker. It just happens. Moving into Thursday, the first thing I did was drive to Scott's house and I used, marked that using a olive studio sticker. Then I had In-N-Out. That In-N-Out cup was given to me by a friend, so you can't get those anywhere. I'm sorry, but the In-N-Out script is from Magical Stickers Co. Then um, below that, it's blank right now because I'm waiting for the latest Plan of Hannah release to get the tattoo equipment sheets. We visited my boyfriend's shop. Then with a glam planner teeny playing cards I marked that Scott and I played skip bow and this was the first day that he managed to beat me he managed to beat me once and only once I won the next two times then we watched Wonder Woman 1884 and that Wonder Woman is from Once More with Love below that using another Once More with Love sticker I marked playing Pokemon Go with Scott, and that Pokemon Go script is from Sophie Rose Paper. I don't know if she's a shop anymore, though. I'm sorry. Um, and then below that, with an Olive Studio sticker, I marked that we watched the movie Sex Drive. I forgot the glory of that movie. Anyways, <laughs> moving into Friday, the first thing I marked with another Once More With Love 
couple's snuggling sticker in a snuggle script from Kinsey's Creation. It's that we just cuddled in bed. Then using a Winter Soldier sticker from Once More With Love, I marked that we watched The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. After that, I had to drive home, and the traffic was atrocious, you guys. Friday on Good Friday, like Easter weekend, mm, bad. So I used this, like, Kiss My and Ass sticker from Glam Planner because I was really annoyed and not having it. Below that, using another Olive Studio camera filming sticker, I marked Planning. While I planned, I watched the live-action Mulan, so I used a Pumpkin Paper Co. Mulan Girl and a foiled script that's in J. Crew's handwriting. Below that, I had popcorn, which I marked using a Simply a Mess popcorn sticker. Then I did homework, and then I FaceTimed Scott, which I used another Olive Studio sticker and a Kinsey's Creation script. Moving into Saturday, the first thing I marked was getting another burrito. Then, uh, that is with a, um, wow, my bad brain fart, a fox and cactus sticker and a Kinsey's Creations custom script. Um, below that, I marked doing more homework and studying. And all day, I was catching up on Chicago Fire, so I used a glam planner, a teeny, and a fire suit to mark that. It was just on in the background all day. I had like 10 episodes to catch up on, and I managed to succeed. Then I went and laid out in the sun, and this day I finished the book This One Summer. It's a graphic novel that I was reading from class. It was weird. It ended so abruptly. I don't understand it, but I read it. Then, using a pizza doodle from Jody Doodles and a script from Jody Doodles, I marked getting Pizza Hut. And then I FaceTimed Scott using an all studio character and a script from Kinsey's Creations. Then, Sunday. The first thing I'm going to mark on Sunday using this glam planner, a teeny and a bunny costume, was that it was Easter was like the least eastery easter ever except for maybe last year's easter it just seems so early just me the easter script is from scribble prints co below that i marked doing more homework i was working on a paper then i marked laundry day using the bed from the kit those beds are just my favorite i love them and a piper paper company script I got all that done before going to my parents for Easter, which I drove there, and I marked it using a once more with love in a car munchkin. At my parents, we spent some time at the pool, so I marked tanning the same way I've been all week, and oh my goodness, I know they're just like 13 miles away from me, but it's like, I can, it's like 20 degrees hotter there. I was dying. <laughs> um, and I got to watch Tito play in a swimming pool and oh my gosh, it was so cute. Then below that, using a fox and cactus salad sticker, I marked having ranch salad for dinner. And then the last thing I marked on Sunday using a little or a label from the kit was FaceTiming Scott using another Olive Studio sticker and a Kinsey's Creations script. Wow, that was a lot. So now the next clip that we're going to move into right here is me putting down all the scripts that I made myself on my silhouette. Um, I This week felt like I didn't have as many as normal. I felt like this sheet was really empty, which means I'm using a lot of the scripts from my collection, which is going to be sad when they're gone because I do kind of like the variation in the fall and I know I could vary it myself but it just scripts take a lot of time so I don't know if I'll be lazy or want to put in that effort to vary the font on the scripts I don't know yet this week workouts what workouts they didn't happen and here I am just putting in my steps for the week going through what I had left over in the kit I do move things around to kind of condense pages but as you can see I did use quite a bit of this kit here I'm just going to give you a traditional viv wiggle within my planner and now into the close up of the week trying to show you guys all that foily goodness because I know sometimes it doesn't translate on camera 
But that is pretty much going to be it for this week. So if you guys liked this video, again, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really would mean a lot to me. I'm trying really hard to grow my channel this year. So every little bit helps with the algorithm from, you know, thumbs up to comments and of course subscriptions. So every little thing helps. And I've just been having so much fun responding to comments during my weekend. I always get excited when I see a notification saying there's a new one and I don't know. This has just become my happy place and I hope you guys all can see that. I hope you guys have an amazing first full week in April and are, if you guys are in school, I hope you guys are gearing down for finals week and you know, just breathe. We'll get through it. I know finals week is always super stressful. It is for me too, but we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, friends.